My viewers, I want to talk to you about these plants and the history of these plants. So take a good look at it. You might know what it looked like. At the moment, it have two, four, six, go back again, two, four, six, eight, so ten leaf nine and that main one that coming out up there sorry so i want to give you the history of this plant this come from jamaica see it this is not a banana plant have a good look at it for you my viewers who know what plants look like you might say that it's a banana plant but I could have said to get have a guess. My viewers, I could say have a guess and see if you know what is what kind of plant it is. Now some people can know plants by the back of the leaf. Yeah? But I am telling you this is not a banana plant. If you look at the, the front of it, it's what the leaf look like. Yeah. If you look at the front of it, you see what it look like. Pretty, beautiful plants. Nice. Look at this lever coming out. Coming out. Alright, let me tell you how old this plant is. It is a year, a year old. Yeah. It is one year old. So this plant here, I bring it from. No, I wouldn't say me bring it. I went to Jamaica two years ago. And I bring back a banana plant. And when I come back, I plant the banana plant and it die. Because it was too small. So by the time it get here, it lose its strength and its value and its support and whatever it is to bring it through. So it never survive, it die. So I phoned my nephew in Jamaica because I knew it was coming up. And I said to him, can you bring me a banana plant because the one that I bring up die. And he said, all right. So what my nephew do, he bring me two banana plant and a planting plants. So now I'm telling you that this is not a banana plant. This is a planting. Okay. All right. So I plant them because it was in the summertime. So I plant them. And what happened? Them rotten in the ground so when the winter is coming down last year in the october month i dig up them to see what they look like two of them rotten out and just this one just a little tiny piece did live in the ground almost rotten out so i take it up and i cut it off cut off all the rotten dry apart upon it and the little high i put it into a pot I'm telling you, my viewers, what I've done with this planting. And I carry it and um, put it on my bathroom window. Upstairs in my bedroom. Yeah, that is what I do. I put it on my bathroom window. You couldn't see nothing in the pot. The pot was pure dirt because it's covered down underneath the soil. You couldn't see nothing. It was in a little baby pot. And then it started to grow. And my viewers, trust me, between last year, last year, I would say October, November, December come down, yeah. I see a little something start to bust out of the pot on the window ledge. And it grew. And last month I decided, say, you know what, it's out, it's getting overgrown now on the window ledge upstairs in the bathroom so I'm gonna move it so I bring it down here now since I bring it down here it give me this leaf it give me this one since I bring it down here yeah it give me this big leaf come out since I bring it down here and now this one is coming out so now what I'm gonna do with this now my viewers it's coming up now to spring because we're in 
April month now. So we're coming up to spring. We in sp well, we're in spring now. And we're coming up to summer. So what I plan to do with this, by next month, I intend, because by then, if you notice, this can't stay there anymore, unless I put it on the floor. It's outgrowing the, the table now. It's my table, my, my dining table. Look, see, that's my dining table. That's where it is. So what I plan to do, I'm going to take this out next month when the weather gets a bit warmer. I'm going to leave it in the pot right through the summer. By then, it's supposed to grow a bit. And my plan is to bring it back in when the weather change. And I'm going to put it right on the floor here. Right on the floor, beside this other plant. See this plant here? I have this plant here now about 20 years. I've been growing this plant here. From a little tiny bit. But my viewers, let me tell you something about this plant. This plant, it wrap and wrap and wrap. Because for, for 20 years, I've been growing it. And every time it grows, I just wrap it around and wrap it around and wrap it around. So this plant here, it's well wrapped. But I love it. Now, it's getting too big now for the house. As you can see, I give the person who gave me this plant, her one die, and I give her back peace. But, you know, I think I'm very lucky with plants. So they're running. That's how they run. All over. That's what them is. They just run. And every time they grow that, I just wrap them back in. I just wrap them in. Just wrap them in. See them there? I just wrap them in. Stuck them back in. That's what I've been doing. So, yeah. Anyway, back to the banana plants. So, as I said, by this, come back to me. I don't want to lose it. So what I intend to do, I'm going to grow it one more year out that side and I'm going to bring it back in and keep it another winter in here. So during the winter, I'm going to cut out the leaves them like this. Indoors, just so it will be bigger. So if I cut the leaves them off like that, make it stay indoors. And then God spare my life next year. If God spare my life and I bring it back inside, and we go through till next year, God spare my life, then I will put it outside back in the soil. Now, I know by then, it will be bigger. Now, I won't be able to keep patting it, but my plan is to put it in the soil and leave it, because if it even dry them, it will come back, because by then, it will be more re robustable to take the cold root. The root will be managed to fight. So if it uh, if you you my viewers think it's a bad idea to put it outside, let me know. Or I should just cut it and keep it indoors and make it keep growing. But yeah for now for now it will be going in and out. This is my conservative and in here is really small. I can't well, let us stuff in here because we have my stuff them in here, my dining table, you know, my plants, everything is well occupied out here. But as I said, it's a banana plant, and I in, sorry, it's a planting, and I intend to grow it as much as I can. So, yeah, all I need you to do is just like and share, comment and subscribe, do your feedback, and let me tell me what you think about my planting. Yeah. It is a planting. Tell me what you think about it. Would you like to grow a planting tree? Would you like to grow a planting tree? Let me know. I thank my nephew to bring back this for me. I love it. I will treasure it as much as I can. Planting tree growing in the house in the UK. Yeah. I will treasure it as much as I can. As much as I can, I will treasure it. Okay? Alright, so my viewers, my subscriber, thank you very much for following me on this video. Like and share, comment and subscribe to the channel. It is a boy bunny. 
I love plants. When I say I love plants, I mean I love plants. So catch you. Leave a comment, yeah? Leave a comment and a feedback.